Thank you so much for joining me online. I'm Kevin Hurd. Welcome to Kevin Talks Tech, where there's a new video every day, my technology blog and podcast where I attempt to make technology simple, easy, and fun to understand. And today, talking about a topic that's very near and dear to my heart, and that is computers particularly if you're planning on getting rid of your old computer. Now we've all been down this route before. I know I've gotten rid of many computers in my day. And today I wanna to make sure your personal information is protected. All of your personal information is stored on what's called a hard drive. This is where any information you type into the computer would be found. It's where files would be found, like music files, pictures, documents. And it's very important that you erase this before you plan on getting rid of your computer. Even more, a step further, what I recommend is taking the hard drive physically out of the computer so that way you have the component where all that information is stored. Even if you've deleted it, if any of it's still traceable, that way you've got the physical copy. Today I'm going to show you how to take the hard drive out of your computer. It's easy to do. I think you want to do it before you recycle it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use our close-up cam to go ahead and help demonstrate how this is done. So let's go ahead and take a look at the computer right now. This is an HP Pavilion desktop that I'm going to be opening up here today. You're going to want to make sure to have the side panel taken off. This is very, very easy to do. Uh, usually there's a twist type um, knob that you'll find on the side. You can twist that to take it off. Other computers may actually require a screwdriver to remove the screws to get this panel off. Now, looking inside, you can see that we've got quite a mess of cords in here, tons and tons of components to help make the computer run. You're gonna wanna look for the hard drive, and how you can find it is it's a rectangular type of device, and I would recommend looking at the wording on these components. In particular right here, my eye is drawn to this hard drive right away, because one, I see the brand, it says Hitachi on it, which I know is a maker of hard drives. You might see it say Seagate, Western Digital. I know they make a lot more portable type of hard drives as well, but you might see their name on here too. But what really, really um, makes me certain that this is a hard drive is where I see the word capacity on there. And it's a little tough to see on this camera, but you can see where it says 400 gigabytes on it. I know that's a measurement of hard drive space, and so that makes me certain that this is the hard drive right here. This is the piece that you want taken out of the computer. Now I've made this easier for time's sake. I've already actually unscrewed all the different screws that are holding this bezel piece in right here, or I should say um, case that's holding the hard drive. You may need to do this too. It depends upon the type of model computer that you have. Grab a screwdriver and you're gonna wanna unscrew the metal caging if your computer has the metal caging. And so like I said, I've already done that just to make this process a little bit easier so I can just take the whole metal casing out of here. Your hard drive is likely also, if it's in a metal casing, going to be held up by screws in here as well. Again, for time's sake, I've gone ahead and unscrewed those screws as well. And now I go ahead, pull the hard drive out like this, and there it is. As you can see, a rectangular type of device quite heavy actually, but there are a lot of different moving components in here, but this is what holds all of your personal information on it. Again, your documents, pictures, music files, application files, programs, whatever you've got is all contained on this. And so I'd highly recommend holding on to your hard drive. I know there's different ways that you can dispose of this, maybe different uh, places that will destroy it completely that specialize in hard drives. Otherwise, it doesn't really take up that much space, so it is something that you could really just kind of keep in a closet in the corner. Once you've got that done, your computer is good to go off to the recycling place. Now, if you missed any of this or you want to see a write-up on it, you can head to kevintalkstech.com. I've got all the information up there for you. And don't forget to check out more of my videos, youtube.com backslash kevintalkstech. And please click the subscribe button. That helps keep track for me anyway, how many people are watching, what videos you like, and makes my interaction with you a lot easier as well. Thank you again for joining me. Have a great day.